Good day guys, Austin here, and in this one today, we're going to be looking at Hitman. Now first off, I've got a gripe with Hitman, because I bought this at the weekend. And it's been another one of them sad tales of woe from Steam. To be honest, I bought it, I installed it, day one. I wanted to have a quick game before I went away for the weekend. It didn't happen. Basically, I just could not get it to load. Every time I pressed something, it crashed. And it was really doing my head in. In fact, since then, I've been away on holiday, obviously. I got back on the beginning of the week. I thought, you know what, I'll strike it back up again. There's probably been some updates. It'll work. No, crashes again. Same place every time I load the game up. <laughs> it's just been doing my head in. So I thought, you know what, it might just be the computer that I'm working on. I know sometimes new games can be a little bit buggy. I don't know why, because... You know, you've had a year or whatever it is to develop the game. You obviously thought that it was up to the kind of standards to unleash it onto the general public and to be able to be played in all kinds of systems. No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, so I basically um, played it, didn't work, put it on a different system, played it, didn't work, pre built the system, rebuilt the game, reinstalled everything, didn't work. Re <laughs> deleted the lot, redid everything yet again, didn't work, was that close to reinstalling Windows, reinstalling Windows to play a game, I've never even heard of such a diabolical thing, my channel is dedicated to get any game working from any system in the world on your PC, I can't even get a Steam game to work, how crap is that, that's the kind of crap that I have to put up with when I purchase games upon release. It's not good enough, people. It's, it's, it's rant. It's a massive rant because it has done my head in. Luckily, by the gods of gaming and by the gods of Steam, you've managed to sort your neck out. And today, even though I've basically just rebuilt a whole rig, a whole computer, just to play this game, <laughs> You update it and now it works. So I still don't know whether me building a whole new computer for this funny this game has fixed it or if you fixed it and I'll never know probably. I'll never know. But either way, it's not good enough. I've had to wait a week for this. Jesus wept. The troubles and turmoils I go through on a daily basis. Getting Games from other computers, other consoles, from other ages, from completely different kinds of concepts to work on a PC and I cannot even get a Steam game to work. Diabolical people, diabolical. Square Enix, Steam, not good enough, very not good enough. Anyway, we digress. So basically, I've just built a whole new system for this game. I'm running on a 8350 Visual Core, it's an 8-core one. I've got it on standard stock default settings, which I think is 4 gigahertz as normal, 4.2 when it turns into turbo mode or something. Uh, it's got 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance, and just for the sake of it, I've whacked in a um, R9390X. Why not, eh? Why not? I thought something's going to get this working, so that might do it. It seems to be advertising Radeon on the game, so I thought if I put everything Radeon wise or ATI in there, uh, it might have a bit of play. So yeah, I just basically built this system to play this game. So in theory, this is what, I don't know, a grand's worth of game right now. <laughs> anyway, let's play this thing. I went through the tutorial, it was boring the shit out of me. Oh, the, the first bit of the the story, should I say. Um, I've just got to the bit where I actually start doing something. So, well, let's do something. Let's let's not listen to me whine and moan about my troubles and turmoils of getting this working. Although it is diabolical. Let's actually see what the game's like. Now, I am a massive Hitman fan. Okay. Bit of choppiness going in there. Okay. I'm sure. Right, yeah, basically, I'm into Hitman. I love Hitman. I love everything about it. For the actual things about this game, we'll go into more detail in that in a second. Uh, there is its troubles, I've heard. 
as of yet, I've been unable to play it. So that's the major trouble that I've had. Um, the Absolution version, I wasn't really into. Um, the new one, yes, I love the graphics. Yes, I love the direction it was going into, but it was still too on rails for me. Um, I love the effects that they did for the crowds and things like that. Um, but yeah, it was just too on right to go. Why the hell is this giving me jip? Why is that? Is it me? No. Seems to be. There's a bug! Oh my god, what's this bug now? It seems like every now and again. We... Oh, look at that. Oh my god. It's why I can't play this! Why can't I play this? <laughs> Play this game. I have just reinstalled everything. The only thing left to do is reinstall Windows. I have completely <laughs> rebuilt this system from scratch. I've installed every driver. I've <laughs> installed everything that you required. It's even got more in there just in case. I've rebuilt because you advertise it. I've installed it and reinstalled it. I've given it patches. I've checked and verified caches. I've done everything. And still, still, you break me. What the fuck? <laughs> Why do you torment me? I can't play it. It does that, and I can't do nothing about it. Fuck me. Fuck. <laughs> what? This was supposed to be a review that was out on Saturday. This was supposed to be me getting involved, enjoying a bit of Hitman, a game that I've been looking forward to. It's had some grief in the press. Yes, there is only one fucking mission to play on. And yes, once you complete that, if you're not into trying to better yourself and things like that on games, then you've got fuck all else to do. And £10 for doing that? I don't know. Is it worth it? It depends on your game style. For me, yes, I probably would, because I do like to go in there and try and get different types of kills and things like that. i got no idea what's going on. I cannot play this now, because every time I try and do something, the controls mess Fuck! <laughs> uh, well, that's it. That's an honest review. It wasn't even chilling out to a bit of Hitman. Instead, it's took me a week to get this to boot up. It took me a week to get it into the game. And now that I actually am in game, have rebuilt the system, have rebuilt the operating system, have rebuilt everything. In fact, it probably would have been... <laughs> it probably would have took less time to fucking build the game myself and make a better job of it. Oh, Do you know what? Refund time. Re-fucking fun time. Steam, you pissed me off again. Why do games do this all the fucking time? EA, you're the worst for it. You knock games out. Downloadable content all the time. Ubisoft, you fucking sell your games on Steam and then you make me put another operating system program on. You fucking play to make me play the game that I've already bought from somewhere else. Fuck me! Jesus. I don't normally rant. I'm normally a happy guy. But this has just fucking pissed me off even more. I've just built a grand's worth of computer to play this game. A grand's worth of what happens. It bugs out. The controller fucking bugs out. The second I try to fucking do something, it messes up. Well, fuck you, Steam. Fuck you. <laughs> Why? Oh, yep. Yeah. Time to go back to refunds and time to wait for three months before I actually play a game that was released. Oh, oh well, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you watch this. Looking forward to it. Well see a bit of Hitman, see a bit of me playing Hitman. It wasn't supposed to be a review, it wasn't supposed to be a let's play, it wasn't supposed to be anything. It was supposed to be me chilling out to a bit of Hitman and seeing what it was all about with you guys. Now, you can see what it's all about. It's about a big bag of shit. <laughs> so, without waffling on,
<laughs> I'll see you soon. Laters!